We are ready to go to close out the Jumpman Invitational here at the Spectrum Center. Florida and Oklahoma underway. So they are hot, and right away you get a little bit of a feeling as to what Oklahoma wants to do. They want to go quickly. One thing they have struggled with, Debbie, is taking care of the basketball, as you pointed out. Well, they're a minus two in their turnover margin, but number 30 inbounding the ball. Taylor Robertson's the player to keep your eye on behind the three-point line. She's one of the nation's best, and in the history of the game, she's set to break some records this year with her three-point shooting. Liz Scott gets the first points of the game. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Novant Health. K.K. Deans plays the point. Alberta Rimdahl shooter coming off a 19-point game last time out. Back the other way on the run. Oklahoma can't make it two in a row as Yanusa was off the mark, and now Florida wants to run as a counter. Shea Kyle can't hit, and here come the Sooners. Oklahoma practices every day with 12 to 15 seconds on the shot clock, so they're looking to score quickly in the first third of the shot clock. Tot runs the point. Yanusa can knock down the shots. She gets the three at 31%. Williams and Robertson, as Debbie mentioned, two 2,000-point scores on the same team. And Scott's been good, last two averaging 12 points and nine rebounds a game. And a good start for Oklahoma here against the Gators. So both teams start out in man-to-man, -man, but Oklahoma will play some zone. Todd to Scott, and that one is thrown away. Oklahoma averaging 17 turnovers a game and giving up just about 14 a game. Jenny Baranchek in her second season at Oklahoma, her 11th overall after working at Drake for nine years. Seven of the nine years that she was at Drake, they won 20 or more games. Here is Nino Cards has a good mid-range game, but defended well. Comes up short, battle for the loose ball. Fought for, and a tie-up. Possession arrow will keep it with the Gators with 11 to shoot. Kelly Ray Finley also in her second season with her current team, the Florida Gators. Was interim last year, had that tag removed at the end of the regular season, had an excellent first season as the head coach in Gainesville. 21 wins, 10 in the SEC. They made their first trip to the NCAA tournament since 2016. Shot clock is down to four. Deans has to launch from deep. Long Robertson. rebound leads to transition opportunity. Maddie Williams and a foul. I look. I like to look at Oklahoma as an 80-40 cut screen team. 80% of what they do is basket, cut, pass, and move without the ball. Wait, you said 80-40. I said 80-20. I thought you said 80-40. Oh, well, I meant 80-20. Can we get a Can we get a vote from the truck? Here's Faith Duke. Gators 0 for 4 already. Duke's in trouble and has it knocked away. How about the steel score mentality right here of Oklahoma trying to quickly score? Oh, how about Tot dropping it down off the steal in an early timeout called by the Gators? I've been impressed with Oklahoma on the defensive end. They have really gotten in a stance. They thought they were going to have to play some zone, but if they keep playing like this, they can neutralize that size. There's the double team. Nowhere for Duke to go. Shot clock down to nine. Tough spot on the floor for the cards, but she has, as we said, a really good mid-range game. And that ends the drop to Florida. Robertson always in ready position to launch a three. And she's made at least one in 53 consecutive games. There's Tot mixing it up, but Nina Ricards is just outstanding on the glass, especially on the offensive glass, but unable to convert. Robertson, a couple of steps inside half court, why not? I asked her today, do you happen to watch Caitlin Clark? And she said, yes, I do. I said, can you pull from the logo? She said, yes, I can. <laughs> and yes, she did. 13-2. That's the one thing you know. You've got to chase them off the three-point line. And you have to locate her in transition. You put up a big number. Watch this. Nobody stops the ball. She's free up the floor. She's only done that a million times. This is a young woman who works on her game constantly. On game days, she told me, she makes 100 threes, or excuse me, 230 threes before the game when they're playing in a natural setting, not like she didn't have time to do it today in here. What did Jenny Baranchek tell us before the game that they have to go pull her out of 
gyms on campus sometimes because they don't want her shooting too much, that she is that much of a gym rat. Guys, and we witnessed it for ourselves. She's warmed up for sure. Williams averaging 16 points a game, five and a half rebounds a game. She draws a crowd. That's off the mark by Tucker. Here's Van for two. Ooh, little shake and bake on the block. I like it. You got to have the go-to, and you got to have the counter inside. Down it and the foul. Well, Johnson checks into the game. She's the tallest player on the roster for De Jenny Bronte. And Jenny Bronte's the second tallest player on the roster. <laughs> She's, her eligibility is all used up from her Iowa days, but Johnson is 6-4. They look for a transition three from Jones, can't get it. There's the rebound from Tucker, and a second chance. Jones, foul called on Florida. Florida's got some size out there right now, even though Dude's on the bench. Well, this is that big lineup I was talking about. Oh, count it, and the foul. That's Skylar Van, chance for a three-point play. So that's what Jenny Branchek was talking to us today about. Every cut has to be a scoring cut. Sooners score the first seven points of the game. They have not trailed. And that's going to be a turnover for Florida. And SEC play next time out against Tennessee. Jones looking for another one. Three attempts from the floor so far from Jones. Quickly numbers back the other way. Good finish and the foul. Shea Kyle a chance for a three-point play. In the Big Ten, last two seasons at Purdue. And not off their defense because Oklahoma's not turning the ball over. Oklahoma looks inside again. Look at that quick second jump by Maddie Williams. Now, finally, Jones able to knock one down after missing her first three. The cards. You just go under all that screening action. Deans trying to take it at Williams, but Williams rips it away. More good defense by the Sooners. And Kyle gets called for the foul on the drive by Yanusa. You saw the defense on the other end, too. Eight. Sooner of all time to join the 2000 point club. And it's really impressive. You see a fifth year senior, Maddie Williams, fifth year senior, Taylor Robertson. Liz Scott is a senior. Yanusa's battled injuries throughout her career. She has stuck around. And you get a coach who comes in like Jenny Baranchek. New coach comes in. Players, as we've seen across the country, go look elsewhere, but they stay put in Norman. Well, you got to love the style of play, right? You're going to run and shoot. All players love that. Grimdahl, 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Deans tries to get it done off the dribble. No. Culleton the rebound. And a look up at the buzzer. It was really coming down to what the players were saying to themselves. Grimdahl was telling her teammates, they bump, we fall. They bump us again, we fall. So that was their challenge amongst themselves to just be better and answer the physicality call. And they're looking to turn the corner now, right, and get into the paint. They weren't doing that before. In and out, but Rimdahl finally got a good look. Well, how many times? Deans, nothing coming easy for the Gators. They run it hard and they run it wide. Williams averaging 16 points a game to lead the Sooners. He's got four so far. Culleton. And then taken back by Scott. And then Duke picks the pocket. Good contest, rolling up. Ricard just got to make that, and usually she does. Hesitation by Williams. That's a the, smart play. Now yeah, the extra pass leads it to an elite shooter. That is a smart play by Scott. Seven nothing run for Oklahoma. Remember, they started the first quarter leading seven nothing. Florida got an early bucket here in the second quarter, but the Sooners have come right back. Already three threes for Robertson. Williams gets on the floor and from the deck makes the pass. Oh, look at this right here. This is going to be her fourth triple. Bang! Go ahead, Taylor 
Robertson, shoot until your arm falls off. Robertson. Gotta have high hands on the shooter right here. One's gonna be long, the bid by Yanusa. And stay at it defensively because the aggressiveness on this end has been impressive in a Sooner uniform. That's Taylor Robertson. You can't lose her. Robertson on Sunday in the win over Southern was one for five from outside the three-point line. On the season, she's 35%, so that is an off year for her, although that number is in the process of going up thanks right. to her 80% tonight. She's a career 43.5% shooter behind the three-point line. Tot. Tough shot. Won't drop, but she'll go to the free throw line. 20 assists a game for Oklahoma. Coverage starts at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN and on the app. Deans. Rebounded by Williams. Still scoreless from the floor by Deans. Oh, Williams just showing the speed and the finishing ability. Maddie Williams all the way to the bucket for two. I mean, Maddie Williams is less than five seconds up the floor to the rim. Coast to coast. You don't see two shoulders, two hips, you keep going. Harry will try a three. No, and they're off and running again. Yeah, Noosa tries to thread it through, but Perry, the freshman, a good job coming back to knock it away. The Florida in transition. They get the two from Kyle. Kyle's been consistently good. I mean, she's been able to score, and she's been able to defend when the game slows down. Five points, five rebounds to pace the Gators in both categories. Constant movement on the weak side. Top drains a three. <laughs> they are really fun to watch. Seven of 13. She shut off. Shot clock at four. Deans, oh, nice job. But an offensive foul is called. Feed inside, good job by Perry on the defense to deny Kirsten Johnson. Deans, this is a rare wide open look for KK Deans. Scott. Johnson. And a whistle and a foul called on Oklahoma. Great hustle. They make up for their lack of size with their speed and their hustle. Two fouls on Yanusa, so she heads to the bench. Perry off the mark with three. Ricards. It is the five foot nine inch Nina Ricards, the senior out of Queens. Off the miss, the rebound for Johnson. Two and a half to go in the first half. Fourth and final game of the first Jumpman Invitational. Hands down. A couple of things that we know Kelly Finley talked to her team about today. Things they had to do defensively. Defensively, ball watching. Deans gets beat back door on a simple basket cut. You have to be a good passing team. When I think about good passing teams, I think about UConn, and I think about Drake. I think about Utah. And Jenny Baranchek has built an identity here with good spacing, passing, cutting, and good shooters. Tough shot on the drive by Scott. And then you want to talk defensive teams, and you're talking about South Carolina. Overpowering. But they also held close to the 20% shooting from the field, so that underscores your point on defense. Kicked outside, Dean's another open look. Yeah, when she's had open looks, she's been able to knock him down, KK Dean's. That seems like the obvious thing with Oklahoma, no, they, they score quickly. <laughs> you don't have to tell them to score quickly, but this time they do get there it done. Go. Van to the basket. They're definitely gonna get the ball back. Rindall. Van. Looks inside, but cut in deep. <laughs> Kyle there defensively. Deans has it, and that will do it. We have to be calm. We have to be together. The first four minutes of this ball game, she said, I want to see confidence. That's what it comes down to.
You know, Angel, she told us the shoot-around today, communication was the first thing she expected. And look at the back door off the halftime break. It's exactly the way their system is built. They have all that pressure package already built into the way they play. Back doors, ball fakes, spacing. Medusa gets the hoop. She's got five. Robertson leading the way with 12. Play two feet in the paint on the weak side. They're two good at three-point shooting teams. So well designed by Jenny Baranchek. Three-pointer on the way in. Good. Maddie Williams knocks down the three. Iowa State picked to win the Big 12 this year. Oklahoma's got a couple more years left in the Big 12 before they move over to the SEC. In the Big 12, Kyle at the free throw line. You know, it, it is true. Kelly Finley knows you can't get it all back in one big bite. By the time you get to the five-minute mark, can you get it down to a single-digit possession game? Got to put some game pressure on Oklahoma. Kicked away into the backcourt. Robertson behind the back. Toss to the corner. The three won't drop. On the bid by Yanusa. Second chance, Robertson. Yes. Five threes for Taylor Robertson. This is the 40th time in her career that she's had a five three-point make game. And there's that 40th game yeah, that I was referencing. Pretty but, impressive. Hey, Lori Kane is from a very small town in Kansas called Newton, Kansas. And Taylor Robertson's from another small town called McPherson, Kansas. I looked it up today on Google Maps. It's only 30 miles between them. Scott drops it inside, two more for Maddie Williams. Marty Smith was the MVP of the entire tournament. He didn't pass much, he did so in a full sweatsuit, but it was so much fun. I know you saw that lockdown defense too. Yeah. It, it was, it was <laughs> How about Joel Berry on her team? That's what really was the difference. <laughs> when I saw the footage of how Marty Smith was treating this like it was game seven of the NBA Finals. Oh, there's her cards with a good finish. Good job, Angel. Made 0 for 10, free, I don't believe it. Made some free throws, you know, <laughs> had some fun. Well, it's good to see you guys having a great time and everybody's still smiling and nobody needing any physical therapy afterwards. Part of what's been a great week here. And Taylor Robertson is living that life right now. Six triples. Eight. 18 points for Robertson. Look, Taylor Robertson is not going to beat you with explosiveness. She's not exceptionally quick. You wouldn't call her the best athlete in the gym. However, she has worked tirelessly six for seven from the three-point line. Good job by Weiss there defensively, but sticking with it is Culleton, the freshman, with four. been effective here in the third quarter. The cards trying to stay hot. Knocked away and Robertson comes away. Look at that left-handed pass all the way up the floor. Yusa with the finish. Robertson takes it away. Looking for another assist. Top. Can't connect. Yanusa got cut under. Lost the handle momentarily and now turns it over. Deans takes it at Van for two. Nine points for KK Deans. Van says, why not? Night two of the Jumpman Invitational. Year one, it will be back next year and the year after with the same four teams. Here in Charlotte, associated with these four outstanding institutions in basketball, like they're having a good time. It's a, it's a beautiful setting. The court is gorgeous. It's in the middle of downtown Charlotte, or uptown Charlotte. Better side to Colton. This is the building of the Hornets. North Carolina will play Florida. With all these veterans on the team, you touched on it before. 
And with so many players who get in for Oklahoma, there are freshmen who are a part of the rotation. We've seen a lot of Raina Scott. We've seen Culleton here today. We've seen Kirsten Johnson as well today. Faith Duke will try it from deep. It's a two for Duke. And Todd gets called for the wall. Got pushed back early. And Oklahoma has kept that advantage. Florida's won nine in a row, 11 and one on the season. Their loss was at Florida State in game three this season. Since that time, they've won at Dayton. They had an overtime win at Miami. Nina Ricards leading the way. She's got 13 for the Gators. And another beautiful move to the basket. This time, Kennedy Tucker scores the hoop. So much precision and detail and timing, spacing. Nine different scores now for Oklahoma. Corner three for Jariah Warren. So Florida heating up a little bit. Three consecutive scores down yep. the floor. Now they got to get some stops. Kings inside, and here come the Gators. And off to Maddie Williams. Williams will take it. Ricards tried to drop it in, and it went off the foot of Shea Kyle. Tot defended by Ricards. Williams through traffic for two. Here we go, side to side, inside out. Duke calling for it. And then you drive into traffic. And Ricards couldn't get it to her. Jones is there defensively. Oh, good acceleration. <laughs> Tot showing the speed to the basket. There is an athletic lineup, a very good speed and quickness lineup that Jenny Bronchek can put on the floor. I can see uh, Tot going up against Rory Harmon from Texas right now. That'll be a great matchup to watch. Or the speed of the backcourt of Baylor. And of course, Emily Ryan. A lot of people nice. think Emily Ryan, the point guard at Iowa State, might be the best point guard. Some grit in that Iowa State backcourt, that's for sure. That's the final shot of the third quarter. I'm going to say this to all college basketball players. There's no time for you to lose your confidence as a shooter. You don't play enough games. You're already more than a third through the number of games you're going to play this season. So get in the gym, get your mechanics right, take shots at game speed in practice, and shoot it with confidence. I think KK Deans may have been able to hear you because she was struggling a little bit, especially when you compare what she's done all year. Three for nine before knocking down that three, a 44% three-point shooter. A blocking foul is called on Florida. Chance for a three-point play. Mentioned before, the sixth player of the year in the Big 12, a season to go. Back outside to Rindahl. Back to Weish. Guess who's got a rebound? Williams, 15 points, nine boards now. Look at oh. the speed. Oh. What a drop off. Not one time in the game has Florida stopped the basketball. KK Deans comes firing, firing right back. Williams. Awkward turnaround by Skylar Van. And here comes Deans with Rimdahl up ahead. Deans, oh, yeah. yeah. Here she's she goes. Up. Come on, KK. She has got four, uh, five, excuse me, after starting out, 0 for 5. And her last three, and it's answered back by Williams for three. You see why Jenny Baranchek told us they play with 12 to 15 seconds on the shot clock in practice? It's not a factor. They play with pace. They run the floor hard. Look how wide the floor is. They're so open. Lanes, so many open lanes. And look at Maddie Williams going to work. What a beautiful no look. Avoids the charge. Combination of athleticism and power and skill. 2010 night for Maddie Williams. Third time this year she's got the 20 or more. Dean 
Evans is the one who's heating up right now for Florida. Ricards has an opening. Kyle to Rindall. Into the hands of Williams. Don't need an outlet. Quicker up the floor. Williams draws a crowd. Dean's got a little too aggressive. Scott defended by Kyle. Kyle altering that shot inside. Deans. Rimdahl's three is good. KK Deans is playing here in the fourth quarter. First points for Alberta Rimdahl. Scott. Dude's got a rebound. Florida's got a stop. Now, can they get something done on the other end and get a few more stops? That's going to be the big question. Ricards will have a chance at the free throw lot. Starts at noon Eastern with the Sixers and Knicks. I like the Bucks. Giannis must watch TV. We'd like to see if they can get it to, you know, three or four possessions, right? And put a little game pressure on Oklahoma. At the pace right here, they're going to get a lot of opportunity to score, right? Duke is fouled by Williams. Here's Faith Duke, senior out of Vancouver. I mean, this helps. Make sure you locate Robertson. Gators trying to dial up the defense a little bit. Bring the intensity. Oh, nice. Top with the feed. Beautiful. The, he the hedge. Trying to level off Todd and the hard roll to the rim. Great job by Johnson. Ten different Sooners have scored. There's Shay Kyle inside for two more. Kyle with 14. The spin and the whistle and the foul called. Things have loosened up a little bit. Alyssa Peely is. Almost unguardable at the elbow. 6 1, Ooh. 240. Ooh. To take you off the bounce. Just like that. Just like that. KK Deans has 20. This season I has 23 against Florida State, but then Oklahoma answers right back. Well known, recognizable shoes from some of the top NBA and WNBA players in my closet. But do you have a cast iron skillet? Three and a half to go. In the inside, nifty Ooh. little move by Shea Kai. Nice counter. She's got a couple of, we've seen her do a couple of double moves in there, Kyle. Call those the big Shea counters. Deans on the push and the foul called. Hey, look at whoa, that. Whoa, 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 wait yes, a minute. That is, that's exactly, that's from 1988. You look just the same. <laughs> he does too, by I, the way. I love that picture. And he was very gracious. He was back in the day. I'm very proud but of But that that's picture. a good day, though. That's a good day. Yes, it is. Yeah, and you really had no idea. I had a nice conversation with him. I do remember that. They duped on the turnaround. No. Ricards tries to get after it, but it's taken away by... Oklahoma, the Sooners have not trailed here tonight. They're up by 17. They get on the glass, and Williams will add to the lead. <laughs> 22 for Williams to go with their 11 rebounds. It's her first season with Florida after playing three years, four years rather, with West Virginia. Career highs 30 with oh. the Mountaineers. Oh, the blow by. Wow. Deans, oh! Todd's just, got 12 points for us. Sorry, yeah, I just love the way Oklahoma moves the ball. Look at this right here. They go to trap, and Matty Williams slips that. Tomorrow, a triple header on ESPN2, beginning with Kansas. Almost today. We've got the late one here tonight in Charlotte, 11.30 in the East. Michigan fell to North Carolina in game number one. That's Scott. KK Deans with 28 to lead all scores. Maddie Williams had 22. Taylor Robertson with 18. It's a win for Oklahoma over Florida.